This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get Django running on Google App Engine Python. Now if you do a quick search on Django and App Engine you're going to get a bunch of stuff but a lot of it is out of date and a lot of the libraries you might not want to use anymore. So this is going to show you how to get Django probably running the way you want to. Alright so let's get started here. Uh, first thing is before I start it here, I went ahead and I downloaded it, the App Engine SDK, and I also downloaded it Django, latest version of Django. All right, so to get started here, I need to set a few things up. Let's uh, get Django on our path so that we can run it. Actually, let me go ahead and put the whole path in here alright so we're going to do that for our python path and let's just check that okay that's great all right, so let's go ahead and we're going to start a project here. And we're going to use the Django admin. Uh, we just set up that path so that this, this uh, particular script will run correctly. Start project. And we're going to call it neutron test or just end test for short. All right, so you can see we have an end test. Uh, so now I actually... Um, on App Engine, I called it uh, Neutron Dash Test. So I'm going to move this to Neutron Dash Test. All right, so there we go. All right, we have a Neutron Dash Test directory. All right, so for the first part we're just going to do a simple Django app we're just going to get it working we're going to get it working without the typical ORM so this is actually how I like to run Django on App Engine is I just I just like to use Django I don't necessarily care about the data store because I think the App Engine data store is really awesome and the, their ORM is really awesome so I just use Django because it gives you a lot of like templating, it gives you you know request and response objects and middleware and different things that are just awesome even without the ORM. So let's go ahead and go to our editor over here. All right, and let's start our App Engine app. So you always need an app.yaml. Okay. Now there's this document. It's actually a Cloud SQL document for Django. If you look it up, um, they show you how to get started on App Engine. So let's just go ahead and copy that. Okay. Our application is. Neutron test. All right, now you can see right here, you could specify which library of Django you want to use. I actually don't like to do this because they don't keep their Django versions uh, up to date very much. So they don't usually keep up with the security uh, updates as fast as I would like to. So I usually like to include my own. So let's go ahead and we're going to uh, move just the piece that we need into our App Engine app. Alright, there's Django. Now let's do something here. We need to fix our path. Because if you remember, probably want to fix that now. 
so we should make this neutron test. And I think that should do it. Alright. Great. Alright, so we got our app.yaml. We got the latest version of Django. Alright, so let's see. This says just go ahead and run whiskey. So I think that should be all. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Actually, we are going to get an error here, but let's just go and see what happens here. Now, I am on a virtual machine, so I'm going to need a dash host parameter for the dev server. You might not need this if you're running stuff locally. Because I'm going to run it off that IP address. Alright. Neutron test. Yes, we do want to check for updates. Alright, so let's go. See what happens here. Oh, nothing. No settings module. Alright, so normally for Django you have to know which app you can see in our YAML file. We don't really aren't really specifying which app to run. So thankfully let me bring up my old notes here. We can specify which app we want to run. Alright, so we are going to specify and test settings. That's the app. That's our settings we want to run. So let's kill that. Alright. Alright, so you can see we have our first app. Now this is actually usually where I stop and just start coding my app. Uh, one of the things you might want to do is if you're happy with using the Google App Engine ORM is you may want to come into Django here and go into Contrib and clean some of this out because when you're using the App Engine ORM you won't be able to use things like the admin the admin docs, comments a lot of this you can't use because it's dependent on the Django ORM. Now, there is a project out there called Django Non-Rel that will let you use the App Engine uh, data store and still use some of these apps, but it's still limited. So if you really want to use some of the third-party apps on App Engine, you really need to hook it up to a MySQL database. And or any kind of database, I shouldn't say just MySQL Postgres um, might be a database you want but it's hard to get those libraries running on the App Engine however Google now has a product called Cloud SQL that you can hook up to Django and use a normal SQL database on App Engine so this is the next part of the tutorial is we're going to go show you how to do that. Now this is a little bit harder. Uh, let's see, first thing we should do is look up the Google Cloud Console. Alright. So first thing we're going to do is build ourselves a database. So let's go into our Neutron Test app. No, we don't need any help right now. Alright, so you can see over here on the left, go into Cloud SQL, and let's create a new database. Uh, and test. Alright, we're just going to do the lowest tier for right now. We'll just keep all of the defaults. 
Okay, so you want to make sure Neutron Test or whichever your App Engine app is added here so it's authorized to access your database. Uh, you know what? I already use this name, so let's try Neutron Test 2 and Test 2. Alright, so there we go, it's being created. All right, so now if you go into this document here, they have some nice settings for us that we can use. So let's go ahead and copy those. And let's open our settings. Get rid of those. All right, I'm gonna put this at the top. All right, so this first part of the settings says if server software equals App Engine or starts with App Engine, this is what runs in production. So that's the back end let's get our instance name okay put that in there and once we connect we're going to also have to create a database and name it and test you can have uh, several databases under this instance. Alright, so you can see that's running now. So we'll get to that. We'll get back to that in a minute. Alright, so now this right here settings mode equals prod. So what happens is you can't really run the management commands to do like sync DB, things like that on App Engine. So you'll have to run them on your dev machine and you'll set this environmental variable when you're ready to run those. So let's go ahead and again set our instance and our database name. Alright, lastly, so this is for development. And I actually installed a database already so if you have Ubuntu it's pretty easy you just do sudo app get install mysql dash server which you can see I already have done and then you also need the Python driver I think is python dash mysql db. I've already done that already too. Alright, so you can see for all of these we named our database and test. So let's go ahead and make this for uh, development. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, so we're going to do create um, database and test. All right, great. All right, so let's go ahead and run our stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and sync DB. Yes. Alright, so now this just created our tables on development. So let's go ahead and do a couple things so that it's a little interesting. More than just this welcome page. So let's go ahead and 
put in the admin. I mean, that's one of the biggest things that you're probably wanting from Django. All right, let's open up our URLs. And let's add the admin. Okay. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and actually we need to go back one. And run our server. All right, so let's try slash admin now. Okay, so first thing you'll see is we don't have our static media. So let's go ahead and set that up. So App Engine comes with a built-in CDN. So let's just use it. So all right, so we need to set this static root. All right, so we're just going to do something I want their name to be the current directory. of the settings file and then let's go back one and call it static all right so what's this their name all right their name is simply going to be os.path their name the directory of the current file All right. All right. So now let's go ahead and let me bring up my uh, notes here because now we're just going to add a handler to our YAML file. I guess I didn't copy that. Let's copy that correctly. Alright, actually I just put this static. Alright. So let's go ahead and kill this for a second. And we're gonna do collect static. Okay, let's check to see if all of our files. Where did it put all the files at? Oh, there they are. I don't know why didn't they show up. Okay. Oh, I'm looking on the wrong server here. There they are. All right, so that's all our static files. So let's go ahead and run. See if we get all of our static files. Great. All right, so there you go. You can see we're in the admin. We can do stuff. And it all works. Oh, admin log doesn't exist. Right. It must have. Uh... We must need to run uh, a uh, sync DB once again. I guess we didn't sync the admin stuff. There we go. All right, let's try that again. Yes, go ahead and resubmit. There you go, it all works. All right, great. So now that's our database on production. The harder part is getting our database working 
or no, that's our database in development. The harder part is getting our database in production working. So we have basically our app. That's what, that's all the coding we're going to do. Now it's just going to be about how to get stuff working. So let's go ahead and deploy our app. Okay, so it's going to deploy our app now. So now before we test out our app, the hard part here is we need to sync our database for production. So while that's going, let's get our documents here. And you can see if you remember that settings mode prod, this is what we're going to try and do. So let's go ahead copy that almost deployed there Alright, so let's go ahead see what we can do here. Alright, so first of all, it's using the correct settings, but it doesn't have this Google App Engine stuff on the path. So again, we need to fix our path. So let's go into here. We need to put this App Engine SDK on our path. So Let's go ahead and search for Python path. Oh, I guess it's. Let's just do it this way then. Alright, so we want this path. We also want this path. So let's go ahead and just set up our Python path again. Oops, don't want to do that. I'm trying to copy and paste here. All right, so let's try this again. Alright, so now this is going to be one of the little hacks we do. You can see what it's trying to do is create an OAuth token to get access to our Cloud SQL. But since I'm doing this on in the console on a virtual machine, I don't have a browser to authenticate and uh, download this, create this token. So. Let's just exit here. Now normally I'm guessing this would open up in a browser and you would just click the accept and you'd be on your way, but we can't do that. So it gives you this option, but we're not really running the Google App Engine stuff, we're running, running manage.py. So I don't really know how you would get this option to work. but what I found is let's do a search for this is that we can do a little hack and instead of making the authentication where it tries to open your browser up the default we're going to switch the default All right, we're just looking in Python files All right, so I believe it is this one. You can see, there you go, there was the message. Hmm. 
No, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this right here. Right, so let's do a search. We're going to change the default for that flag. Alright, there we go. Mm, let's change it in this one too. Just in case. Alright, so now that we changed that to false, it's just going to give us the URL. We copy that URL. We accept yes. We get the token. Copy that. Paste it in. Now we have our OAuth token. All right, so now we created that OAuth token. All right, we never created our database. So there's another command in here, and that will just like we logged into MySQL, we can log in with this to our Cloud Console instance. And go ahead and create our database. Now, if you hadn't done that OAuth stuff, it would have again tried to go through that process. But again, this particular command line doesn't uh, follow that um, flag that they gave us. This one right here, either. So again, they have this flag to switched authentication I don't know how or where it works alright alright so let's go ahead and create our database awesome it's created we exit alright so now let's see if we can go ahead and sync our database on production okay Great, creating tables. And we're going to go ahead and create a super user whenever it asks us. Come on, you can do it. Yep. Let's go ahead and do Paul. Put in my email address. Put in a password. All right. So we deployed our code. We created the database on production. Now, once this exit. Let's just test it out and see if everything's running. There it goes. Let's let it finish up before we give it a test. All right, great. All right, so let's go to our app. Neutron test .appspot .com. and let's go to the admin. All right, we got an error. So let's go ahead and see what's wrong on App Engine. Ah, okay, we forgot one thing. No MySQL DB. All right, so it's trying. If you look at our settings in production, it's trying to use the MySQL DB backend. Again, another undocumented thing I couldn't find anywhere, but I found it on Stack Overflow. They actually do have the MySQL uh, DB module for Python. 
It's just not documented anywhere. I got to uh, copy and paste right here. All right, so we went ahead and added that to our libraries. Let's go ahead and deploy. And I believe this should make us successful. Okay, it's almost ready. All right, let's try this one more time. There we go. All right, and let's just make sure everything's working. Great. So you can see everything's working. Now we have full Django with their ORM, the admin running on App Engine. And so you can use a lot of third party tools that uh, normally would be hard to run on App Engine with the Google Data Store. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.